All right, so lots of people have been having some trim issues with the new Blade MSR. Usually trimming can be done on the controller, but sometimes people are still having an issue where the controller is not providing enough trim, and they're getting to the end of the trimming uh, ability, and they still are having problems. So normally, let's say if your helicopter, you took it off and it was swaying to the right consistently, you would fix that by pressing the left trim button until it's, until it's steadied out. Some people are having problems where if they trim it all the way and it won't trim anymore, it's still going to the right, or the left, or the front, or the back. You know, it, it could happen any direction, whichever way your helicopter is set up incorrectly. Uh, specifically, one person was having a trouble with his helicopter uh, always going to the left. So we're going to go over and talk about how you would fix that <coughs> if your trimming button doesn't fix it. So what you would do is, showing you from the back of the helicopter here, if your helicopter is always going to the left, that means it needs to have more right input and that's what trimming to the right would do. Trimming to the right essentially this is what I'm doing, I'm pushing the right stick to the right. Trimming to the right essentially moves this right stick to the right ever so slightly and what that does is raises this left bar. So, if you're having a problem where your helicopter is consistently flying left and the right trim button is not fixing it, see this is when you get to the wall. It's not going to trim anymore. So if you reach the end of the line and your helicopter is still going to the left, then what you're going to want to do is as you can see what needs to be done is this arm needs to be up higher. So you can fix that by taking off the canopy. Well, I'm just going to put my trim back to about where it was before I turned it on. All right. So you take off the canopy. And like I said, this bar needs to be trimmed higher. This, this was higher to go right. And you need to trim it to the right so it stops going left. So you pull this off. Actually, let me grab a tool really quick here. Just to needle those players. Oops. Pull this off, and then you want this bar to be longer because, like I said, it needs to be higher. So it's righty tighty, lefty loosey. And all you do, it's kind of hard to see with my fingers here. I'm not going to twist mine actually because mine's set up correctly. But all you do is take this and twist the top. And start off with just like two twists. So, like, halfway around, full one way around, and then snap it back on, see if that helps. Keep going until you need to, uh, until you even out your helicopter. Now this swash plate is fairly, uh, it's, it's pretty sturdy, but I kind of bent mine once when putting this back on, so be careful when putting this back on. Make sure to get a needle nose pliers, and grab the swash plate right by the circle here, but behind it, so you can snap it on, and then push Sorry if it's hard to see. Grab the swatch plate, it's, it's sticking right through there, and then push this, this piece on, holding it there. Because I pushed it on before, kind of holding it like this, and pushing, and I bent the swatch plate right there. Luckily it didn't bend very far, and it bent back, and it seems to be fine. But don't push it like this. Make sure to hold the swatch plate up at the top with the needle nose pliers while you're pushing this on. Just be very careful, because you can bend, bend the swatch plate. So that's what you do, and basically, like I said, what that's going to do is it's it, it just raised up that bar a little bit. I'm pushing in right, right thrust again, and that bar is raising. So if you loosened this, if you if you wanted to raise it, you would loosen it. So you would turn it to the left a couple times, and that would raise this, and that's essentially giving yourself right trim. So it would help stop that left movement. So if you're having problems with trim, basically that's how you do it. The, if you can't trim it out, look at what you want you want to do, and it's the same. This is going forward, so if you needed to trim to go forward, you would put the right one a little bit downer by twisting it to the right. If you needed to trim a little bit backwards, backwards kind of sways the right one up and the left one down a little bit. So you might twist each one a half way, the right one left to loosen it, and the right, uh, the right one you would loosen and the left one you would tighten a little bit.
Uh, and this is to go right like we did, and this is to go left. Right, left. So basically that's how you do it. You see which way you need to move it and you twist accordingly. And then test, and then you might have to do this a few times, you know, half a twist. It's, it's best to go with small twists because if you twist five or six times it could actually do a lot. You might end up being perfect right there, but you might have overcompensated. So it's best to do it a couple twists at a time and try to get a nice steady hover.